Welcome to an avenue where women can discover their worth, experience new beginnings, and feel what that lady boss feels like. Where women come together to empower one another, sharing stories collectively to influence women around the globe, to influence women to shine bright like diamonds. We are women, women of all colors and creeds, opening up our doors to and for one another to maximize our potential and to bring our dreams to reality so that we can sparkle with confidence. Where beauty begins the moment you decide to be yourself and where failure is not an option. Now's the time for you to go for it, she talks, providing an avenue where women can share their voice, innovate their thoughts, and influence the she that's inside us all. So how did the pandemic impact my business? Well, so in about November, I self-published my very first book, The Self-Care Survival Guide for Employees. And as I was getting ready to come back and start marketing that and figuring out what exactly my next moves were, my dog actually got sick with a really fast progressing cancer. And so all through November and part of December before I unfortunately had to put her down, I was caregiving for her. So everything that I was doing actually got put on the back burner then. And then, you know, holidays and caregiving, burnout, and all these different things that took place through, I would say, January, the first part of February, I started actually marketing for my self-care in the workplace offerings and the book. And then COVID-19 happened and everybody got sent home. Everything that I had planned on doing was actually self-care in the workplace, in-person trainings in Chicago for corporations, caregiving communities, different places like that. And that was no more. So I got sent home and I went, okay, well, that sucks. So what do I do now? And I think one of the biggest blessings that came out of all of this, for me at least, was the fact that I had to go back and I had to reevaluate and rework my entire business again, because I've already done this like five, six times and I've been a really, really good trooper about death and rebirth uh, when it comes to my business. But I had to go back and I had to rework everything that I was doing and go, okay, now if there was ever a time for me to go ahead and pivot my business, right? This big pivot, pivot your business was a big thing in the quarantine period. But if there was ever a time that I wanted to pivot my business in a different direction, now was the time. I had this really big aha moment of going, ooh, is this really what I wanna be doing? Or do I wanna go off in a little bit of a different direction? So it was there that all of this rebirth started happening and different pieces of the puzzle started coming together for me. So one of the ways quarantine actually helped my business was it forced me to get quiet. It forced me to come back home and deal with a lot of this white space, right? Because we came into this quarantine and I'm really, I'm somebody that's really good with my solitude. Like I live alone, I have my dog in a house in the south suburbs of Chicago. So I'm kind of out in the sticks, I'm out in the country. So I'm really good being by myself. But when it came to my business and having to really like sit with all of that and go, what do I do now? All these things started coming to me about all these different ways that I've actually really wanted to show up for people who are in their 20s and early 30s who are just starting to do the work that I started to do about seven years ago. And I realized that all the things that I had been through, caregiving burnout, corporate burnout, um, divorce, autoimmune issues, financial hardship, all these different things have given me a gift of being able to give all these resources and tools and gather all these things together because they've helped me along my journey. And part of what I wanted to do with the self-care survival series is actually use that as a conduit to give all these resources to the people who might not even know to, to look for them because I know I didn't. And so just in the last few weeks, what's actually ended up happening, I call it by divine guidance, <laughs> I was given a four week purge and, emerge, purge and emerge course. And what it basically is doing is helping you do a little bit of death and rebirth in your own life. Like what's feeling icky, what's really feeling like it just doesn't belong in your life anymore. And how can we work together as a community, together live on calls together each week to be able to clear space for all these really good 
amazing things that want to come to you. So how do we do that together as a community? So I was given that course. I was actually given my self-care series that I was supposed to do, or I was planning to do, in the corporate environments as a way to do those as one-on-one -on -one trainings as well, like one-off trainings. So people can pick and choose whatever trainings really resonate with them and be able to partake in those trainings. So in that way, you know, quarantine and COVID-19, while, you know, obviously it wasn't, it wasn't good, right? You, nobody wants death. Nobody wants people sick. Nobody wants fear and scarcity or anxiety. However, it was a really big gift for me because I was really resistant on going virtual. I was really resistant on doing anything online. I was really resistant doing anything live online. And so being able to come back home and having to sit here and sit with all of those things for a really long time, I realized that I was missing out on such a really amazing opportunity to bring what I've already learned and the things that I've already created to a much bigger audience. Because before I was doing everything in person, I was doing everything just local to Chicago. And if someone wanted, you know, a corporation wanted to pay me to travel, I would absolutely do that. But for the majority of, the, of what I was planning to do, it was all in person, it was all local. And so the, the pod of people that are in Chicago are quite large, but you compare that to the world and it's just a drop in the bucket. And so being able to come back home and have to rework everything and be forced to, go, to kind of go back to the drawing board was a really big gift for me because it was a very eye-opening experience on how else I could actually show up and be of greater service to the world. So what does business after COVID-19, after pandemic, after quarantine look like? Yeah, um, so we we don't know, right? So we, we're just kind of going day by day. And what I know right now, today, is that my, my self-care survival series as a book is now going to be a five-part series over the course of, you know, the next two years, three years, whatever that's going to look like. The first one was for employees. The second one is going to be for caregivers. That one is in the works of being created right now through my, um, my experience with human and animal caregiving. And the third one is going to be for divorcees. So people who are going through divorce, thinking about divorce, in the midst of divorce, on the other side of divorce, recreating your life. The fourth one is going to be for 20-somethings. So this is going to be a little bit more of like my gift to you as a 20-something. These are all the things that I wish I would have known about when I was in my 20s. And then the fifth one is actually going to be for entrepreneurs. And I believe this one is probably going to be a little bit more geared towards the feminine entrepreneur, bringing in that really amazing feminine energy into business, um, into career, that, that kind of thing. And so right now the offerings are still public speaking, still actually talking about self-care, and how to bring in more pleasure and play and fun into your life using self-care practices to really get connected with yourself and what it is that you actually desire so you can create room for it to come in. So this is going to be with where the four week Purge and Emerge course is going to come in really handy. So there's going to be that offering, the self-care training offerings that are going to be virtual and who knows what else from there. I'm always open to divine guidance to whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing next. I've really learned lately how to be in my divine feminine flow where I run on inspiration rather than the grind where the grind is where I spent a lot of my a lot of my business years and it did not serve me very well. <laughs> so right now I am trying to take on a new way of being in my business and so far, fingers crossed, it's turned out really really great. So that is what I can see right now standing today in this well, in my house <laughs> sitting, I guess I'm not standing according to what I think things are gonna look like. I think things are just gonna be a lot more virtual. I think there's gonna be a lot less in-person things. I think virtual is definitely, unfortunately, the way to go. I'm not a huge technology virtual fan. I would much rather be in front of somebody, but this also gives us the opportunity to reach a whole bigger, wide range of people this way too. So I know it'll have its, its pros and its cons, and I think at this point, we're just kind of along for the ride and we're just taking everything day by day. and bobbing and weaving and, and doing the best we can at the end of the day. So I think one of the biggest things that a company or an individual or a community can do to help small businesses 
is yes, shop local for sure. If you have the resources being able to buy their services or their products, absolutely that goes without saying. But I also think a bigger purpose and a bigger way to help and be a contribution is actually to be a connector. So I know from personal experience that, you know, when there's not enough coming in, you can't really give a whole lot going out, right? So we have to cover our bills and we have to eat and buy groceries and all these things. And sometimes that exceeds our budget for what we have coming in. And so we aren't able to purchase goods and services and products and all these really wonderful things that these small businesses are doing. Not because we don't want to, but just because financially it's just not there. And so what we can do instead is for these businesses that have products and services and things, especially the stuff that we really align with, we really resonate with, we, especially the ones that we actually have partaken at some point in the future or in the, in the past, I'm sorry, ourselves. You know, if we bought a product from somebody in the past or we have done a training program or taken a class from this person, what better way to be able to help them not only with just with your own dollars, but also sharing what it is that they're doing. And not only just sharing it as just like a share on social media, but a share as in, here's what I did with this person and here's how it actually helped me. Here's how it changed my life. Here is how this person is just a joy to be around. Like really giving a really great personal testimonial from someone that um, has already you know, if, if you've already done something for this person, if you've already taken part in some kind of event that they've done or something like that, I think that is probably one of the best ways to be able to help a small business when they're in crisis is just to be the support, be that wind beneath, you know, those wings and being able to help them fly and help them go higher.